Fleeting Heist to come away with a, a win today on Ilios. Um, and in this entire series, as I said before, looking at uh, Jungle Jazz to have some nice beat drops, which we saw last week and in previous weeks as well. I think he's been really, really solid. Have uh, sh or has shown a lot of improvement coming in from Season 2, or at least didn't really notice Jungle Jazz so much in Season 2 when he was playing on Kang. Like, he was there, he was doing his job, but now I think he's really making plays uh, for Heist, which is maybe not something that I was necessarily used to last season. Same can be said for Bus coming in from his roster last year. The last season, I think he's been phenomenal this season for Heist. Deep build, going to be the first one down to Locus. Heist going to start this one off with a bang, finding two supports. And, uh, they're going to follow this through and just try and stagger as many people as they can, which they'll do, to be fair, quite successfully. Point unlocks, everyone gets back on and captures that one up. Great start for yeah. Heist. That looked a little bit too easy for yeah. Heist, didn't it? Uh, well, I guess that's why you don't take a front-on fight against a... Reinhardt, when you have a Winston as your main tank, and Breakway do suffer a loss as a result. Bus able to do a lot of damage in that one. The Winston being four, just jumping right on top of him and getting absolutely obliterated. Yep. Has forced the swap over onto Reinhardt now, though, so we should see a more even matchup from here. Yeah, but uh, obviously they've given the advantage across to Heist now. You definitely do not want to do that. And Jeez. again, they're going to follow this up immediately. Heist is looking the number solid today, yeah. Ben. Yeah, they they are. are looking super, super coordinated at an instant, a drop of the hat, they just turn and absolutely decimate Breakaway. Four is going to be standing there thinking, what on earth is going on? How am I dying so quickly? Uh, he's just being rammed into by this entire heist roster and destroyed. Breakaway going to have to find something here. Already up to 40%. Heist now starting to come into their ultimates and Gusto in position to throw a uh, bit of a difficult self-destruct over the top there. Throws it right into the middle, actually, of the Graviton Surge. And they find a couple of kills, only Gusto going down as soon as he jumped out of that mech. But the rest of the team will follow it up. So they push on through, Daosu using the trans just to keep everyone nice and healthy there. Yeah, important for Heist to get that kill onto a four once again. When the Reinhardt goes down, when the main tank is lost, Breakaway have no real chance of winning the fight when the opposition yeah. main tank is still alive. So great work for Bus to find that kill with the charge in that fight. And now we're just going to be rotating the ults through here for Heist. They've got a shadow in this one. Be looking for a big one out from Bust. Coming from behind to throw out this Graviton Surge, potentially. They're going to have to contest the point eventually as well. They will now jump on down. Soundberry comes out, and yeah, Slitzel J unfortunately loses that uh, that Grav. Going to get eaten up. Quad J at least picks up one, but I don't think it's going to be enough here. Heist have the numbers, and of course, they seem to have the HP combination with that uh, sound barrier. Jeez. Up to 95%, they'll just win this fight and should be able to pick up Ruins here very quickly. Just look at how long Bust survived in that fight. That was great work from Heist, and in particular, a perfectly timed sound barrier out from Jungle Jazz once again. That has been his trademark throughout this season. Excellent stuff to keep the main tank alive. Only Locust was dropped in that fight. I think there was two players that died that entire round for Heist. One of them being Locust in the final fight. I can't remember who it was in the uh, the middle fight. But regardless, a very, very solid first uh, round for Heist. You wouldn't be disappointed by that one at all. And uh, I think that's going to yeah. put Breakaway Esports on watch a little bit because uh, they need to do something to get their way back we into this. We literally saw the exact same thing yesterday. One team went Reinhardt, the other team went Winston, and the Reinhardt team came yep. out on top. Now, I'm also concerned here with Breakaway coming up with Winston again. I mean, it's fine Might. to play Winston. It's fine. There's yeah, not, yeah. nothing wrong with it. But they they can't play it properly. It feels up against this lineup. Well, Though, to yeah. be fair, they didn't play Reinhardt that well either. You, so. you can't you can't just run straight at the Reinhardt with the Winston. You need to be diving in onto the supports and putting some pressure on the back line. That's why yeah. you choose the Winston, and that's exactly what Four has done this time. He's not right on top of them. He's gone behind them. He's going to be pushed away, though, and this is where Bust is going to look to strike. Yeah, Bast in pretty good position. No, starting to lose a little bit of HP. Quad J looks like he's the first one to go down. Gusto going to find the DMAC there as the point unlocks. Breakaway going to try and walk on top, but they're down two players. They don't have that shield tank either, so it's not a great position for them, even though they were perhaps the first team to find themselves on the point. They'll also be the first team removed. Yeah, really got to give credit to the supports of Heist right now. They are doing a fantastic job of keeping their team alive. You can see how much pressure is being put on Bast. His shield breaks, and then he starts getting focused down. He has been low for almost the entire round, but yep. he never actually dies. And that's the big problem for Breakaway. If you put so many resources to try and kill that main tank, and you aren't able to kill the main tank, that's resources that otherwise could have been going somewhere else. You're not getting the value out of it that you need, and Breakaway lose the fight. Plus, if you get 
get baited into going for that kill, right? And then you never find the kill, you're in a bad position. Grab going to come out here, though, for Breakaway, looking for an opportunity. Sound barrier for their side as well. Down oh, to this keeping everyone big. alive. But here's self-destruct in the middle from Gusto. Finds three and the DMEC. The point remains Goodbye. in the hands of Heist. Jungle Jazz going to give Dude. four a bit of a... A helping hand off the edge. This is looking absolutely clinical right now for yeah. Heist. A fantastic transcendence out from Dalsu to keep the team alive through that Graviton surge. Locust then gets his, hits a really nice grab. Gusto, super, super solid on the Diva last week. And again, we're see seeing that displayed today. Great placement of the self destruct. And also last round, he ate the grab of Slidzor J. So displaying good fundamentals on that D.Va and Heist. It just seems like everything is working right now for them. Yeah, it certainly does. Looking uh, for this uh, a half-decent uh, Earth Shatter here as well, potentially. You can, Soundberry going to come through as well. Oh, oh, he's okay. Come on, there we go. In the meantime, D.Field's going to go down. Four picks up one. Bus brings it back. Breakaway having a little bit more success this time, but uh, not enough. Not They've enough lost their of, Yeah, exactly. And... Uh, I I'm going to say that was tactical from Jungle Jazz to uh, avoid the self-destruct of Quad J. Right. Which Although he may have actually gotten hit by the, the self-destruct, which is what pooped him off. But anyway, let's uh, not go into technicalities. It doesn't matter because they're at 92%, and uh, this is Breakaway's no last ult, push. Though. It needs fours. Epic Earth Shatter has come around the corner. Goes to throw nice it out. Block. block straight away. Goes for the charge. Captures one. Not going to be enough. Four now going down. Going to get picked up there by Bass. But Jay doing some work, but I don't think it's going to be enough. Heist is Bust very is still low. Alive. How is he still alive then? Yeah, they are all so low, Jordan. All so low. Getting down to one or two bars, but still somehow managed to get picked back up, brought back to health. And that'll uh, secure them the 2-0 and here mm. on Ilion's Heist over Breakaway to kick things off. And as you said, really was clinical, wasn't it? Yeah, I mean, if that's going to be how the rest of the series is going to go, Ben, we're not going to be having a very long one at all. That was probably the most one-sided uh, control map that we've seen this entire season. Was that 100 to 0, oh, 100 both. to 0? Exactly, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Bust did not die once. The main tank not going down in a GOAT's composition at all for an entire map, that's absolutely unprecedented. And the fact that he's able to survive that long, obviously great work from him himself, but then also great work from the supports to keep yeah. him alive. Yeah. It just didn't seem like Breakaway were able to get that final nail in the coffin onto Bust. And if you can't get rid of the main tank, if you can't dislodge the main tank, yeah. uh, not only does it provide so much damage in the Goat's composition with the Reinhardt Cleave on the hammer, but also obviously all that damage mitigation from the shield. You know, you're talking about Zenyatta not being able to hit damage. You're talking about Zaya not being able to charge the grab up as quickly. No damage really coming out for the Diva, for the Lucio. The only ones that can really do damage in that sense is going to be Four and D-Field who have got the ability to hit through the shield. So much more difficult for Breakaway to actually put real considerable damage into uh, that roster of Heist when yeah. the main tank is alive and when that shield is up. I, I can't help but wonder whether they're just targeting Bass, but so are all the supports for Heist at the same time. The thing is, though, like, they don't have enough damage to When do you're that. in the GOATS comp, there isn't really that much burst healing. It's not like you target your heals so much. Obviously, the Zenyatta, you want to put your orb on, but Lucio's healing everyone. Mm. The Brigitte, you, you've got your Inspire when you hit people. Uh, the burst healing that comes from the, the armor pack is so crucial in this GOATS comp because that's where you can really bait people into yeah. sort of diving in onto your main tank or, wh or whoever it may be. But it, in this case, it was Bust that was getting low most of the time. That armor pack comes through. That's a big burst of heals, maybe a little bit of armor as well. And that's when, you know, you maybe have overcommitted just as that armor comes yeah, and up and Bust starts and swinging back at you. by the time you realize it's too late yeah. and you're down and, well... There goes that round. So mm. let's go and take a look at our next map. We'll get the ball rolling, continue through, because that was a pretty quick one. We move across to Numbani. We know this is Breakaway's pick. They played it a lot this season. Obviously, uh, if you're not winning your control point maps, which they haven't that often, you're going to get to pick second time around. Mm -hmm. uh, Numbani hasn't been bad for them, to be fair, but that was such a impressive start from Heist. I'm concerned how now how this will play out for Breakaway. Yeah, I am a little bit as well. But Breakaway have been fairly solid on this map. They've played it three times and won it twice. Uh, so of the map pool, it's actually, one would say, probably their best map. And I guess yeah. for them now, this is their best chance to pick up a win. Yep. That said, Heist is definitely not terrible on Numbani themselves, though they have a bit more of an even spread alongside Hollywood. Regardless, though, uh, back to the Winston Goats for Heist and us. Uh, Displayed quite a aptitude on the Reinhardt in the last round. So we'll see how he goes on Winston this time. 
Yeah, well, it, play, it worked out last time. They seem to keep him alive. Winston may be a little bit more difficult. We'll have to wait and see. But already up to 30% there on the ultimate charge. And uh, Breakaway going to go back up onto the high ground. At least everyone's still alive. But this is all a waste of time for now. They're going to have to commit and attack the point. Bart's going to jump up into the high ground. Drops back down. Yeah, nice little charge for the Zaya there. Off Four. The bus. So low. Goes down very, very quickly in the first couple of seconds. The rest of the team will fall in the same fashion. Yeah, just look at the focus fire here for Heist. It's so much better than it is for Breakaway. Bust is really completely uncontested, jumping up and down, up and down. But Four, every time he tries to do anything, he's getting absolutely smacked in the face. Bust has charged his primal rage up in one fight and Four's at 37%. So I think yep. that tells you the difference between how well Heist is focusing down Four versus how well Breakaway is focusing down Bust. Going to come and try this one again. As you said, Bass has that Primal Rage available. Daosu not far away as well from a trance. Going to keep targeting four. That seems to be the play. Bass pops that Primal Rage. He takes a little bit of damage. We'll see. This should be enough to win oh, the fight. Nice. But Daosu going down to Quad J. That's a big one, particularly with the trance available. Self Destruct now available for oh. the attacking Diva as well. Quad J actually doing quite a bit of work this time around, and the kill's going in favor of breakaway set times the charm for them gonna yeah. get this payload moving objective a is there that was a pretty weak fight lost actually by heist to be yeah. honest the fact that buster's forced to use prime rage so early he did use his shift and was kind of caught out of position by breakaway that's why he had to force the primal rage just so that he didn't die so he didn't get caught out uh, but also Dowser just left on his own there. He had trans available, but didn't maybe expect to get bursted down that quickly by the Devo. It didn't even seem like he recognized that Quad J was on him until he was dead. So if Dowser would have popped Transcendence there, I think it could have definitely been a different story. Graviton Surge, going to see the Self-Destruct come through as well. Everyone's going to dive on top. The Self-Destruct won't get anyone, but maybe the follow-up will be enough here from Breakaway. Dowsu has popped that Transcendence, and Jungle Jazz is going to use his support ultimate as well. It's been a one-for-one one up until now, as Heist seem to find a number of kills in quick succession. Mm. You can see, of course, Bust going to be playing again on the Reinhardt here. Decided to get rid of the Winston. Obviously, the high ground a little bit less in play once you get past that first objective as well. And he was so much more confident on the Reinhardt earlier. Yeah, already up to 70% of the Earth Shatter, but for Heist, they used a lot of ultimates in that last yeah, they fight. Did. Uh, I would have loved to have seen them use most of those ults on the first point, to be honest, but I guess if they can stall it right here, it, it really is much of a muchness. Breakaway making a decent inroads, though, into Numbani. They are. They struggled against the Reinhardt before. We'll see how this pays out now. They've got a payload behind them as well. Deepfield goes down. Four brings it back. Trans, you can hear, coming out for Breakaway. That's Aki. Bus holding on to this Earth Shatter. Oh, throws nice it out. Shatter. Captures two. Four's the first one down. Obviously, Four has swapped across to Reinhardt as well. Decided he did not want to fight that uh, Winston versus Reinhardt battle. Nor perhaps, would you really. No, perhaps earlier they were trying to make the most of uh, what they had or ultimate charges and things like that. But as soon as their momentum was stopped, a change was made. But you can see that Heist now starting to get a foothold here on defense. Yeah, you can really see the difference that Bus being on Reinhardt makes for yeah. this roster. He seems to be much more confident on the Ryan. Oh. Big eat there out from Quad J though. Yeah, actually fires into the side almost there of uh, the defense matrix. You're going to see support ultimates coming out from both That's sides, but that too. is a very strong Earth Shatter coming out from four. Self-destruct in the middle, won't find anyone. Just going to be charged across the slits or J sound barrier for Heist. Trans from Aki and a self-destruct for the attacking team comes through, and it's going to be Breakaway who finds two kills. That should get this payload moving once again. That was two Reinhardts charging at the same time. Very interesting. Anyway, Heist uh, do lose that fight. A couple of big ults out from Breakaway. A very nice eat from Quad J as well. Does swing the fight in their favor, which is exactly what Breakaway needed. I don't know that they'll be able to push on through here without the contest coming from Heist. Looks like they are going to be able to get in there. Bust charging on forward. Rally's available for Dubois as well. Yeah, Dubai going to oh. push through. Rally going to get popped there. And it's going to be four going down first. Obviously, a lot of focus fire again being placed into the main tank here at Breakaway Esports. Earth Shatter coming out from Bus. Not sure if it was needed. It doesn't even matter. Mm. They will be able to clean up the rest of the team. For me, it definitely feels like if you put Heist against Breakaway without any ultimates, Heist will win. Yep. But they don't necessarily play the economy game as well as they need to. Maybe that's true. Maybe that's true. I definitely agree on the fact that Heist aren't 
necessarily having too many problems when there is no ultimates available for either side. They seem to have a better grasp of the GOAT's composition. That time it was four getting put out of position as Heist charged on board with the speed boost of Rally. Once again, Breakaway will make one more attempt. Both teams have grab available in this fight. Yeah. Graviton Surge in combination with no damage. We'll see how that plays out and who decides to fire it off first. Down Barry coming up from breakaways. Little J immediately throws out his own grab and Bus is being picked up. So this is a big play. Only D-Field down in retaliation. Urshader coming through along with the self-destruct could be potent in this kind of scenario. Well, Douse is down. So this will be a fight win here for breakaway. The payload will get across to Objective B. Just one phase remains. Yeah, but not an amazing time coming out right now from breakaway esports. There's not much left. If they do get it through to point B, there's a good chance it's going to be in overtime, but that is the objective that they need. They need to finish every single point of this map. Right now, they don't have a whole lot to work with. Just Aki with the ultimate. Rally should come up shortly for D-Field as well, but got some big ones there for Heist. We'll look to try to contest this right now. Yeah, Dubois going down, that's pretty crucial as well. So the first pick going in favor of Breakaway. A lot of support ultimates being used as well. Bus going to go down. It's not going to be enough. The sound barrier from Jungle Jazz. Uh, the rally coming out from Dubois really not going to get them across the line here. And this is the momentum now the breakaway needs. The payload moving yep. forward. 110 on the clock. You're 100 Coming around the fine corner. Because looking at the ults right now for breakaway, they're coming up on some really, really massive ones. No support ults just yet at all for Heist. And maybe if Dalsu has a bad fight here, they don't even get that transcendence off. Oh, this is a big grab going right into the corner. Going to buy them so much time. The Diva trying to get under the payload, and that means that Gusto is going to go down there. And, well, this is uh, prime positioning right now for Breakaway. Bus going to swap across on oh, it's to the hamster. Time. Yeah, let's go. Wrecking Ball comes what? through. But uh, look, Breakaway are in a great spot, and they're finding the picks. They've got the sound barrier. Bus was going to go down in just a second. There's very little he can do about this. They're just really playing for time right now, and this should be done before overtime. Yeah, it looks like a Gusto won't quite get there in the end. That was a perfectly placed Graviton Surge from Slidsor J. It kept Heist away from the point as long as they needed. Yeah. Uh, and in that case, then Heist had to start to really kind of stagger on to the point. You saw Gusto making a break for it in that time. Bust had gone down already. So it was a bit chaotic for Heist as soon as that grab did fade. In the end, uh, really nicely played from Breakaway, getting that momentum and keeping that momentum until they finish the map off with 30 seconds left on the clock. And like I said, I thought it might actually go into the overtime by the time Breakaway actually capped out, but they've done a really good job well, they won through all that the phase of the map. They won every fight in the third phase. So, look, if you do that, it's going to be pretty easy. And, and you said they, they created that sort of quasi uh, stagger, didn't they? Mm. By not everyone was dead. They just pulled them off the point. And uh, then the rest of the team has to get around the Graviton Surge and get on there. And by the time they get there, they're dead. And there's not much else the rest of the team can do once they're available to fight once again. So, as we said, Breakaway came into this one. This was their map choice, and it was a map that they had been relatively strong on. Their strongest map across Contender Season 3, and you can see why. I'd be excited to see Dubois on the fire, but I'm not sure that it's going to happen with the roster that Heist is running here. I would be expecting to see a Mercy coming out for Jungle Jazz if that were to be the case. But Dubois, very well known for the fire last season. He played it quite a lot. It, it was almost a one-trick for him. Uh, coming into the season, but uh, unfortunately he's going to be changing back over to the Brigitte, so it looks like it's fairly standard stuff for Heist today on the attack. How are they going to deal with Slits or Jay? Well, that's the question, right? They do have, of course, the dive tanks for Heist being the Winston and the Diva, which is going to be able to put some pressure onto Slits or Jay, but if it's anything like what we saw yesterday from Roro, mm. uh, it's going to be very problematic for Heist trying to deal with that. Yeah, it's a difficult position to be in. Let's see whether they can remove the Farah very quickly, whether they're going to change it up now they can see it or what the play is here for Heist. Uh, going to go try impressive. and use the runes, I suppose, and, and maybe jump up into that high ground. They're being very, very careful here. You're biding their time to try and get a half-decent engage that allows them to remove this Barra or uh, not even have to deal with Slits or Jay. Going around, around the back. They're taking so much free damage here. Yeah, but they're getting positioning, Ben, and they're not being punished for it. They haven't lost a player yet, and the fact that they're now in this Slits enclosed space have is much, much better. 
Yes, he will have ultimate, but you've got to remember there's still an ability to shut down the Pharah when she is ulting, and even maybe it's easier to deal with Pharah when she's ulting. So I don't know the breakaway are going to be too disappointed by how things have gone so far. Getting up onto that high ground, really pressuring for positioning. Let's see the play come out. Going to try and chase down that Pharah. Unsuccessful for now. Flutor has the ultimate that Rocket Barrage is available. They've already used up one minute trying to find the high ground. Gusto is low. Does not want to get demacked in this situation. Heist doing okay to heal. There's Still waiting for the barrage. That's DMAC though. As soon as the DMAC comes out, that's when you can use the barrage. There's no one really to deal with Slits or Jay as he picks up two. In the meanwhile, though, Bus has been doing some work. So this is definitely still winnable for Heist. And in fact, they might actually be winning this fight. Rez does come across, though, onto four. Jervis has traded out as a result. But that is a big Rez. It is indeed. And Gusto going to go down to four. Locust brings it back. Oh, we'll see what the stag comes out here for. Breakaway and how quickly they can get back onto the point. EMP available. Do you waste it? Oh, he didn't or, hit Dalsu with it. Yeah, that was... Meant to say, do you use it? But it kind of feels like it probably was <laughs> right. a waste. Yeah, you're right in the end. And Locus yeah. is doing so much work right now. He's got a heaps of charge. The grab comes out as well, just to assure that that point is going to be capped up by Heist. I really liked how Heist played that out. They knew their win condition, and they played around it. They got the positioning. They were able to enable Bust to get those picks early on in the fight. And even though it was a pretty nice Rocket Barrage out from Slits or J, they trade him out. They get the Rezzing Mercy, and Heist uh, eventually do cap the point up pretty quickly indeed. Nicely done from Heist, very, very good stuff. Yeah, it worked out quite well. I was concerned that they'd used up so much time that if they were not successful, they're gonna find themselves in uh, quite a bad position, but that was not the case. So fortunately for Heist now, they're gonna find themselves with an ultimate advantage and uh, in prime position to get this payload moving. Bart's gonna pop the Primal Rage right in the middle of breakaway here, causing Quite a bit of a ruckus oh. looking to boop the Reinhardt off, having to use the charge to get back on, but should go down very shortly. That's going to be Dubois finding that frag. And after that, the rest of the team should follow in Ooh. suit. Gusto's actually thrown out a very impressive self-destruct in the meantime. Heist have used up all bar one of their ultimates. Only Jungle Jazz has sound barrel remaining, but if the payload moves, if they get towards Objective B, then hey, uh, say la vie. Yeah, Heist have got that steamroller out and they're really doing a number onto breakaway at this point. Plus, uh, I was a little bit worried when he pooped the Reinhardt right into his yeah. entire team, because that can be a little bit dangerous, but it seems like it's worked out oh! okay. Again, four goes down, this time to Douse, who caught out on the charge, looking to make something of it, looking to get onto the payload and slow this down. Unfortunately, now all it's cost them is another 20 or 30 metres. Awesome stuff from Dubois, using his body to prevent the Reinhardt from getting the cap. And... Uh, Breakaway now have four minutes and a half to go all the way through. It was only two minutes that Breakaway had at this point. So Heist are in a very good position to post a better time than Breakaway did. Especially with all these ults. Graviton Surge going to catch only four. The rest of the team going to follow through with the trance, trying to keep them all alive. Quad J has his self-destruct. Now Just Locust late. goes down. This should be enough. Uh, with one other good ultimate to pick them up. You saw the sound barrier come through from Jungle Jazz. That'll slow down the process, but it will not stop it. Primal Rage is popped by Bass, but probably was not needed. Mm -hmm. The sound barrier was thrown out to try and keep Locust alive, but it was literally half a second too late. And unfortunately, Locust does go down pretty early on in that fight, and it's going to be the team wipe that you now see for breakaway esports. Uh, and here's a missed time to uh, beat out from Jungle Jazz. Not something that we're used to seeing. But, these uh, it is what it is. So Heist uh, now actually have quite a mammoth uh, task ahead of them now to deal with all those ults that you talk about. The they do have time. They've got Bast back on the Reinhardt it's as well. Very forward hold though from Breakaway, which is a little bit dangerous. It's going to enable Heist to be able to respawn a lot quicker. Or get to the fight a lot quicker. They don't respawn faster, but you know what I mean. Yeah. It does, but maybe, maybe, you know, because of this, if they lose a fight here, Maybe their respawns then put them in a, in a regional position. You know, maybe right. they feel that they can lose here and still fight again. But this could be crucial. Very big self-destruct coming through. Picks up two, stops the fight in its tracks. And you see what they've used. Three ultimates for that success. I actually kind of like this from Breakaway in hindsight now that I'm seeing it play out. Yeah. They have a high ground control, which is really quite difficult for Heist to take when they're running the Reinhardt in this composition. They have to all run up and then they're kind of all coming out through the one choke point, which is then quite easy for Breakaway to focus them down. So there's a very interesting hold that we haven't seen before here, at least in AU contenders. But it's working out right now for Breakaway. It is indeed Gusto with a self-destruct of his own to use. They're uh, going to use up some time and jump around, make 
breakaway, get off the high ground. Urshay to come through, has no success. Gusto sitting here on this self-destruct, looking for the right time. Trance coming out for breakaway right now. They have nothing left in their pocket. Heist, however, are starting to build up their ultimates again. This is the opportunity they needed. Are they going to get Four's the first really kills? Low. Four is very low, as is Bass, but it's Four who goes down first. That now allows Bass a bit of a free reign to get this going. You can see the payloads moved all the way back down the hill as well. So a lot of work to be done here. 150 on the clock. What looked like uh, a ton of time for Heist to, to work with. He's slowly starting to dissipate. Breakaway going to get a couple more spawns. They're starting to get their ultimates back again. They might be able to play this out. They might be able to waste some time. They may. A really important passage to play, though, for Breakaway as they brought that time bank significantly lower for Heist. So really now it's looking like we're going to go into the overtime with a fairly even sort of a scenario if yeah. Heist 2 push on through now. Grabs out for Locus. Yeah, this looking to, be to a big throw one. it. Needs to not get this caught out. One comes out uh, from breakaway. It's not bad. Self-destruct comes through. This might find some players, but it's Bus who goes down. So that's a crucial pick coming out from breakaways. Locust throws out one of his own, but they don't have any damage really to follow this up. Do they? Will right. they get the kills? What do I know, Jordan? Easy peasy. They find the frags. The payload's going to continue moving. One minute on the clock. And I'm not sure where the breakaway is going to be able to do that much. Here. Aki doing what he's can. Trance comes out four, has an earth shatter. That finds Gusto, but I don't know if that's enough. Defield swapped across to the hamster. They're trying to play it out. They're trying to find themselves to have a bit of a better time. But Heist to finding the frags. Now the sound barrier. This might get them ahead, though, Jordan. This yeah. might be enough to put them just a little bit in the lead. I don't know about that, Ben. There's still, what, five seconds left on the clock? I think it's going to be pretty even, actually. It might even be, Ooh. what was it, that maybe just a slight advantage for Heist. Regardless, Maybe. so Couple close that it's, it really doesn't matter. No. Uh, nicely done from Heist in the end. Good focus fire on those players trickling on out. Let's look here and see. Yeah, two seconds the advantage yeah. there for Heist. It's really not much to write home about. No. Initiating match. Mm. Well, this is interesting, isn't it? Yeah. Couple of different times within this uh, this map, it's dealt maybe that one side or the other had the advantage, and when we get to the end of uh, the first round. Everyone's pretty even. Yeah, there was that just that one fight where you remember Locust goes down because the sound barrier doesn't yeah, come out early yeah. enough. And that gave so much opportunity over to breakaway, so many ultimates, and that ability then to hold for the extra two, two and a half minutes than what it looked like they were going to be able to do. So I got to say, having looked at that, I think that Heist is the stronger team here on Numbani. That doesn't mean that breakaway aren't going to be able to win today. They need to be able to have a good attacking side here. They are starting off on the attack first. If they can get into overtime, get that overtime push going, all it takes then is just a, a one fight on the defense at the right time yeah. that they can win that potentially is going to put them into a 1-1 scenario here. But Heist just as easily able to get a 2-0. So really, at this point, I'm saying it's anyone's game, but I'm, yeah, I'm leaning yeah. slightly toward Heist. The thing is that, right, if, is if Breakaway do the same defense that we saw on point A last time, Heist don't have the time to use their same team comp that yep. they had and make the same play. So we'll see what happens there. But for starters, it's going to be Breakaway on attack. They had two seconds left, only 60 seconds to make something of this. And they're going to charge right on through Jordan. Going to try and find themselves a point. Get on there. Bus goes low. Yeah, he does take a little bit of damage very early on. They're going to try jump onto the high ground now, but starting to split up. They are going to swing back through something that Heist did earlier. Yeah, this is fine for Heist, just wasting time. It means the breakaway aren't going to have an opportunity for a second fight. They either win here or they don't camp. Well, here's the execute on to the point. It's going to be four followed up by the rest of the team. Dausu. Uh, close to going down, stays alive for now. Four and Quad J both low. Quad J almost getting d Heist looking like they've got the better of the HP battle as well. Baby Diva form four is about to get picked up. They're losing tanks left, right, and center. Breakaway will not be able to find the point. Can they find 33%? Doesn't look like it at this point. Heist have the advantage. There's a self-destruct coming out. The sound barrier from Breakaway to counter it, but a late sound barrier out from Jungle Jazz does mean that this fight is now leaning towards Heist. They do get caught in the grab. Doesn't matter, though. They're all still healthy as a result of the shield from the sound barrier. Transcendence now for Aki to try and keep his team alive, but at this point, it is stagger time onto the Point four breakaway. Yeah, four goes down. Bust now pops the primal rage. This is going to be a very difficult fight still for breakaway to win. It doesn't look like they're going to find that 33%. The difference there for breakaway is that this time again, Quad J dies straight on.
straight on top of Dalsu, but Heist have players to back him up. Dalsu doesn't die early on in the fight, and having that Discord or having the extra damage that the Zenyatta can put out, and of course, not to mention the heals, really does enable Heist to come away with a very, very solid hold this time, which it didn't look quite so solid the first time that they held yeah, uh, yeah. point A. So now Heist, their objective to cap up 33%. Breakaway also, in a sense, kind of played themselves because they really messed around a little bit before they committed to that fight, which meant that they could only really have one committed fight. Uh, but with one minute on the clock, I guess what else can you do at that point? Now it comes down to what does Heist want to do here on the attack? Do they want to change things up? Or are they once again going to be running just the standard GOATS composition or with bust onto the, the Winston for a little bit of variety? Mm. It looks like that's exactly what's going to be the case. And I think Heist probably have enough to get the 2-0 uh, to start off this series. Potential though, Jordan, for a, uh, a, a draw. Tie, yeah. yeah. So uh, I guess in this scenario, Heist would probably take that as well. They're just looking for a win to put them in a, a decent position. Obviously maps are great, but a win is, uh, is key. I mean, even still, a, a tie here for Heist is not a terrible result. They'll be up 1-0. and zero. Yeah. Obviously, it's not the 2-0 that they really would have wanted and that kind of thing, but it is still going to be closer to a series win. Uh, but Heist really do want that 4-0 so that they have a chance of taking out Order's position should that go to a 4-0 way of Melbourne Mavericks. So I think still every map is important here for Heist. But is, yeah. The first objective is just making sure that they win this match so that they don't drop down into fourth place. They only need to find 33% here on the first point. They're going to essentially play this out almost identically to what we saw from Breakaway. Oh, they're but they're much quicker going back inside. I felt like Breakaway considered going inside. Uh, but just lost a little bit of time and were forced into the point. Heist a lot more decisive. They're going to end up fighting this, though, in the corridor. This is not necessarily a great place to be. Bus going low, 15 seconds on the clock. They're going to be forced back now, this decision. Perhaps not going in their favour. No, they, they play uh, the bluff, Jordan, and end up walking straight back onto the point. The question is, who goes down first? Yeah, at the moment, neither team looking particularly unhealthy. Just keeping an eye on the ultimates. Bus nearly has the Slips primal rage here. Slips or Jay's a one-shot, but Dubois goes down first. This is looking dangerous now for Heist 4, getting another oh, kill. Man. Breakaway, they might just hold this one. They may indeed. Quad Jay's got the self-destruct as well. Can throw that one out. The sound barriers come through. The primal rage has come out. We're going to get a draw here on Numbani, Elfish guy. Definitely seems like that is going to be the case. Self-Destruct doesn't do enough damage. Gusto getting the remake, and he'll be able to keep that tick alive. But it's really, at this point, a foregone conclusion. We are going to be going to a tied map. There it is. It's a draw. Oh, well. All of that, and we get nothing. We didn't get nothing. We got a lot of fun mm. in the meantime. Yeah, I mean, I look at, looking at that, it was such a close affair there. I think even... It may have just been the fact that for Breakaway on the defense there, they're able to get a little bit of chip damage earlier on, able mm. to build those ults up, you know, 5 or 10% or faster. And we see the, the sound barrier come down a little bit earlier from Breakaway. We see all the ults come out a little bit earlier from Breakaway. Obviously, they get the pick early on onto the Brigitte. Uh, yeah. But there was ultimates that were so close for Heist that if they had them, potentially before Breakaway did, they could turn that fight around. Not the case in the end, we do go to a tie. Uh, very nicely played out from both sides, though. I thought that they had uh, some pretty good moments uh, individually uh, and obviously as a team. I'm still liking the way that Heist is playing out a little bit more than the way that Breakaway is looking at the moment. I think that their rotations are looking really, really solid. Uh, we saw that in that overtime there from Breakaway. I thought that was a bit of a masterstroke getting onto the point, but then they just uh, failed to execute the fight at the, the right time. But regardless, a uh, pretty interesting series for us so far. And, Still favoring Heist at the moment, up the 1-0. Yeah, maybe a little bit closer than uh, what we thought it could be, but again, going through the stats, going through what we've seen all season long, Jordan, if there was a map uh, that they were going to win, it was it was going to be Numbani, wasn't yeah. it? Literally every, uh, the rest of this matchup is uh, all all negative uh, results, really, or in, in, the, in history. Um, they've got less than 50% win rate on literally everything else that we can see here yeah. for the rest of this map. And with that uh, map being tied, it does mean that we're not going to see the opportunity for Breakaway to overtake Heist in the standings. It means that Breakaway is essentially now locked into fourth place and Heist at the very worst is locked into to third, though I don't think there's much more of an opportunity for them to actually get second now because they needed okay. the 4-0 to overtake Order should Order have lost 0-4.
we're which starting to was lock unrealistic. Things in. We're starting to yeah, lock we are slowly in. starting to yeah. get an idea of where yeah. things are going to sit. Which is, I mean, again, this is what the expected result was going to be. This is where the teams looked like they were going to end up. There was always just those little niche sort of opportunities for teams to be able to leapfrog each other. But they were always very, very tough and unlikely results.